like before we even started asking the question, I was like, go up. <laughs> okay, uh, the sweet bean roll. This is actually probably the earliest confection um, in Japan. Uh, the In terms of like baked goods. In the 1875, which was the end of the Meiji era, is, well, not the end of the Meiji era, during the Meiji era, um, and all the samurai were basically wandering, because they had nowhere to go, nothing to do, um, Yatsume Kimura was decided that he was going to be a baker, because uh, before that, all of the baking was actually handled by the chefs. Like, it was just an all-encompassing, I was a cook, and there was no separate profession, and so they figured, well, this is a niche that I can go into. So the samurai from maker actually became a huge thing, uh, which is why you can see that trope in a lot of animals. And he was actually the guy who created the, the sweet bread. And, uh, you know, before that it was all sourdoughs and stuff like that, and that's where it came from. And the taiyaki that we handed out two questions ago is the little fish-shaped cake, which is made from pancake and waffle batter. Um, and that was actually a fairly recent change in comparison to the uh, original sweet bean roll. It really is just a mold, uh, but it's a very popular festival food. And uh, you can actually buy the mold to make them from Walmart for mold places. <laughs> so if you really want, you can get waffle batter and put them into the little bit shaped cakes. And I can't, I can't remember, um, going to something back real quick, um, I was trying to think of what she was talking about. Um, there's actually a couple of animes that I can think of that have the Samurai Baker thing going on in it. Um, I think, uh, there's one we watched too. But like, anyway, it actually is a big thing in Japan. If you pay attention to a lot of Meiji era anime, you will run into that sooner or later. Um, it just, it was, it was a big thing once the swords were taken away from I know, like, the, the, the lowercase the, uh, Samurai. The Yes, yes, it was that. Uh, and now on to Dumbo. Okay, go ahead and raise your hand if you know what anime is from. I saw you. Go ahead. Come on. Just a public service announcement. Please, please. Please snack responsibly. If you might be allergic to something, please. Oh yeah. I guess we should have done that at the beginning. Woo! Lucky. 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 Most of it's just cookies and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but, but obviously if you're allergic to rice, gluten, soy, uh, what else? Yeah, probably not. I don't think we give away any nut ones, but yeah, yeah. general. But general public now, but you probably can't. We have the dango, we have the dango, and we have the dango at the end there. Yes, we do actually have the dango at the end there. That's our lunch. And, uh, but we do have the, uh, colored dango. Well, actually, they're not playing right now. This is a high dango, technically. Uh, anyhow, dango, they really are just rice dumplings. Uh, so they're three, four on a stick. Sometimes on a stick. A lot of times not. Uh, they're really only served on the stick for the convenience of festival eating, like outdoor eating, you know, hands for um, We have a couple of different examples there. Uh, the Bokchan Dango is the, uh, they're actually flavored accordingly to their color. Uh, the red bean is pink, and then the white is the egg flavor, and then green tea uh, as the green. And uh, the Chichi Dango up top with the red and the green, that's uh, served at the Boys and Girls Festival. And uh, the hanami dango that we have down here is usually done for the sakura viewing. It's the three colors again, which repeats itself throughout a lot of Asian culture is the pink, white, and green, which does not actually have a conclusive reason as to why that repeats itself in so many different colors. Well, you're, you're, since, you're, since you're the Lost Gamers token Asian, would you like to explain what, you're, what the theories your family has? On yes, this? the theories my family has. And obviously, my family in and of itself can't agree with itself. Uh, my mother says that it is to symbolize heaven and earth. And my grandfather said that's probably a reason they made up for it, but I'm pretty sure that was the dyes that they had available. <laughs> <laughs> so both are good answers. One spiritual, one practical. It's probably both. Somewhere in the middle. Um, and then there's the, the dongo with the uh, the, 
the Oh, yeah. Um, we've got here, which is our lunch. So, unfortunately, um, can't And that's usually the one you get at, like, the street vendors. Yeah, it's probably just, like, a sweet teriyaki sauce. And uh, there are a couple other toppings, like yeah, you can roll them with sesame seeds or kinako, which is the, the soy flour. Um, if I recall, I think it was uh, Samurai Shampoo that the, the chick was obsessed with uh, the domino. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was. And on to Yakimo, which is the sweet potato. Oh, yes. The two of the corners from the same end, right? Not the other two. The top left hand and bottom right. Does anyone know what series that's from? This one's an actual hard one. Surprisingly, we should go through that. Yeah. Well, that was that one dude that like <laughs> looked like he should be in looked, looked like he should be in a metal band and do every one of the swishiest animes that we uh. Yeah, with the soft <laughs> in the back there, with his hoodie pulled up, looking all hard. No, no, unfortunately, uh, it is a short series called Rec, R E C, uh, about a voice actor uh, or an aspiring voice actress. And uh, the gentleman there was actually, he worked as a uh, marketer for a uh, sweets factory. So it actually does tie in. And it's very short, it's adorable. And it's probably one of the best series I've ever watched. So seriously, if you like Slice of Life Romance, which I'm kind of a sucker for, um, go ahead and watch it, it's really good. Yeah, it's more salmon, so it's, it's geared toward yeah, the older toward audience. Older Not audience. like hentai older audience. But, but it's like, you know, romance in workplaces. And I'm glad I didn't include that because he actually has molded tiny little sweet potatoes in his hand. Which is awesome. Saint Tail also has a sweet potato as a as yeah, one of the special ones, so I can't find the damn Screen grabs though, and I'm not fucking up with me. That's <laughs> just a grab a screen grab of a sweet potato. Uh, sweet potatoes are uh, it's a huge thing where uh, it's like a family owned business where they go out at night and sell these roasts for sweet potatoes. Uh, usually on the back of like Vans, carts, you know, on bikes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and it actually is slightly different than the regular sweet potato. Uh, it uses uh, succinylum, which is not orange inside, actually, which is ironic because a lot of animation is just cheap out. The orange ones are actually yams, not sweet potatoes. Right, that's what I mean. But it is actually like a very specific kind that you're supposed to get, which you can get in Japanese markets. So it's pretty hard to get. Um, we have like three packages of here. Yeah, they're actually purple, so. Yes, they're purple. Um, and they actually have, like, this particular variation has a higher sugar content, so that when you roast it, it actually uh, caramelizes on the inside. That's and it's also served with milk to, like, school children. In the model there, you can see, like, the little kids on their, on their training wheels chasing after these guys. The worst part is I can actually not think of an anime that animates it properly, or at least it in a very visible fashion. I know so many Yeah, they, they all use yeah. the orange camps. Shame on those animators. <laughs> Actually, how long did it probably do that so it looks pretty here? Camps have just been marketed as sweet potatoes for so long, people don't know the difference. Yeah, it's just like, oh. yeah, sweet potatoes, they're saying that, you're right. Well, not really. <laughs> okay, deli desserts. I would ask a question for that, but I don't know. It's, Random. Dude, that one dude should both have blew my mind with that, like... Well, it's just, it's just like some random, like, jelly-themed dojinchi. With HD, which is probably why I knew it. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 I hear people shaking, raise your hand. Okay, what's that from? Other Rama. The male Rama. The one that just came up, yeah. 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 Yep. Come on up. Would you like a pudding? Would you have three? Why don't you have a milk out of here? Yes! <laughs> yeah, the, the store by our house like, has the, the heavenly pudding that could have. Organized, categorized, and it's so in depth with jelly. 
Um, Yokan um, at the top there is actually made with a thicker jelly. It's uh, red bean paste and uh, sugar. And in so far as that, there's actually two different kinds. Where one has a higher water content so that you can freeze it during summer. So it's kind of like an optical chill dessert. The Japanese get really into their jobs. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Like, yeah, they get really fancy. Yeah, we have, you know, regular jelly cups. We just don't have them this time, do we? We forgot to buy them. Uh, WYSIWYG was the only place I could get them. We couldn't get them down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is regular jelly cups. We don't know that But anyway, we do have here. Um, uh, Mitsumato is just the jelly with fruit in it. Ami too has red beans mixed in. There's coffee down the peach jelly. Any possible flavor that's all the way in the jelly. Awesome. Yes, there is actually grass. Uh, we have other confections here, uh, just some of the more traditional tea. They didn't make the cut. They didn't make the cut. Well, actually, no, it's just... It's just if we did it, it'd be like a four hour long. Yeah, well, the Zoriaki, which is really the pancakes, um, with uh, more jellies. Higashi, which is like a crumbly, outer 